Okay, so Simran, let me record my interaction with you, and let me also thank you for voluntarily coming forward to share your intro experience and selection experience in uh, one of the most prestigious course and in one of the most prestigious IIT in India, that is Industrial Engineering Operation Research, IIT Bombay. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, so Simran, uh, uh, I'm very sure uh, in this interaction is going to inspire many students over there. And uh, you are a production engineer. That is all I know about you. So I want you to tell us briefly about you first before we start further. Okay. So after my name, I completed my schooling from my hometown itself. I am from Jodhpur. And uh, I did my B.Tech in production and industrial stream from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur itself. And uh, I entered into this stream because I was uh, connected to this mathematics and all from start itself. And mechanical engineering would be uh, restricted me towards not uh, going to this private sectors and industrial portions. So I was more into mathematics, which was coming up in this OR operations mm -hmm. research subject in my stream. So I entered into this P&I department and uh, successfully accomplished it with this 7.91 CDP. Uh, I passed out in 2020. Okay. And uh, I appeared for this gate examination last year and this year at SIF. But I was waiting for this course and mm -hmm. my results to come up. So I applied for direct PhD program in this autumn semester. Okay. So uh, Simran, I, I first I will ask you a question. Like uh, normally girls do not prefer mechanical engineering and industrial or production engineering because these are the jobs related to, you know, production or shop floor or something. So why at the first place you decided to go for production engineering? Actually, if you enter in production industrial stream, this is more of industrial engineering. Mm -hmm. You can be yeah. at uh, sitting jobs. You could be just doing uh, this CAD CAM thing on your yes. computers and laptops. Mm -hmm. So that is easy job. And I don't think so girls will limit themselves to do yeah. this at least. Yeah. So yeah. That's why and it is more, it. more related and to operations industrial. research. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. It is more related to mathematics things. And uh, if you come up, you are using softwares only actually. Mm -hmm. So... It is using computer science as a tool to get away with it. Yeah. Now, uh, Simran, you know, this college from where you graduated, I visited that college a couple of years back and I was told during one presentation that uh, this college breeds uh, engineering services uh, uh, experience. You know, a lot of IES officers come from this particular college in Jodhpur. Yes, and there my presentation was related to that. Why don't you explore the opportunities in academics? That is what I was uh, uh, presenting to them. So I'm happy that you chose the line uh, of academics. You chose the line of a PhD and higher education. Why you thought of going for direct PhD after B.Tech? If I can ask you that. Yeah. So it was I was not biased to this program that I have to only go for this direct PhD. I applied for M.Tech also. But then it is an easy way, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. with low gate score uh, I had a decent gate score only and okay. plus I had a good advantage of CJP itself mm -hmm. then I thought to go into this and therefore I also had some good areas of research okay. I wanted to work on it and mm -hmm. uh, definitely after MTech I would have pursued this PhD course then why not direct mm -hmm. so that's why I entered directly only so, so you decided uh, finally that you will go for PhD right whether yes. after MTech or direct, but you will go for PhD. That you have already yes. decided. Okay, yes. Simran, why? Why PhD? What you are looking for after PhD? What career opportunities? See, generally people think about this teaching and professors things only. Mm -hmm. And that I am aware of people are biased to it. Also, I was because I too love teaching and I am teaching matriculate students now also, 10, 12 standards. So that's why I want to go into it. But there is there are many many opportunities also like uh, operations research as i told you industrial engineering itself is a private thing you can go into many sectors and be their operation analysts and uh, can do a lot to optimize and so you can enter a uh, there's a large scope actually and also there are more scope out of india mm -hmm. so people actually do this phd course and then go out of india and yeah. explore there so sure. it's a good way, pathway to go for it. Mm -hmm. No doubt, see, industrial engineering and operational research is one of the very good department. You know, it is closer to management domains. And uh, maybe after PhD, who knows, you become faculty in IIT Jodhpur. That, that is your hometown. So yes. Simran, that also you have advantage, right? Okay, now, now I come to Simran, my next part. And that is related to your selection procedure. 
I'm very sure that the kind of CGPA you have and your GATE score, which is uh, quite decent, 606 GATE score you have and 7.91 CGPA you have. So uh, uh, this 606 was with production engineering Simran or with the mechanical engineering? Production and industrial engineering. Production and industrial engineering. So uh, tell me like uh, with these credentials, I'm sure you must have got calls from other uh, IITs also. Uh, if you have got from IER, I'm very sure all the industrial engineering and management mm -hmm. courses in different IITs, you must have got it. So can you please tell us from where else you got the opportunities? Sure, sir. So I applied to this. Uh, I was biased to this industrial engineering only. I didn't want to go towards production. So okay. industrial engineering and operations research. Uh, firstly, IIT Bombay, definitely. Then mm -hmm. secondly, I applied to this IME department of IIT mm -hmm. Kanpur, industrial mm -hmm. and management engineering, mm -hmm. IIT Kanpur. Then I applied to this department of management studies of IIT Madras and uh, definitely department of management studies of IIT Delhi. I apply to these four and also IIT Roorkee, DMS mm -hmm. department. Mm -hmm. I apply to all these departments and uh, all the criteria that came up, shortlisting and all, was all in line, one line only. Like okay. two, four days and it was all done. Okay. All the mm -hmm. IITs. So you got the calls from everywhere. Okay, uh, Simran, uh, let me ask you, maybe you have this awareness or this knowledge. Your gate score was uh, pretty decent, but I know that even lesser gate score pe bhi call aata hai because... Uh, uh, PhD, direct PhD may criteria is interview. Interview is really harsh and uh, they check the many things. They check many things, uh, your temperament for research and all. So do you have any kind of idea like kitne kam score pe uh, call aa sakta tha? Madal, agar aapka 606 nahi hota, so what minimum score ke upar you can expect? And this question I'm asking for many students over there who have good CGPA and they are looking for these kind of opportunities. So, how many score do you think you can get a call? I guess 5.25 to this thing. Because Achha, five, uh, that depends on category also. I am okay. from general category. And okay. getting a call on general category 606 is a decent thing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But uh, if you are from other categories, maybe that could have been more easier. Okay. But, and uh, is the uh, department also a uh, criteria or it is uniform? Like because IEOR to mechanical people, civil people, electrical people, everybody can apply. So this uh, score which you are talking about, is this uh, for all the branches or branch also matters? No, I don't think so. Branch matters as it is an interdisciplinary program. Gate score is a basic level of okay. all the things. They're not saying mm -hmm. ranks. They're saying okay. gate score. Gate so score I don't think so that would be. Mm. Okay. Uh, now, Simran, tell me, many production engineers, they tend to write with the mechanical engineering also, right? Uh, maybe for entering into PSUs or something. So can you tell now what are the opportunities for students writing with production engineering? So what are the different opportunities in IITs for higher education for them? See, we have this advantage of that less students apply from this pay and writing. Okay. okay. Uh, this time mm. also the count in went up like 4,000. It wasn't okay. more than that. Okay. So... Mm. Comparing with this to 2 lakh students that appear from mechanical engineering, you definitely mm -hmm. get a perk of uh, having a good GATE score in this department and applying from this GATE score. Okay. So, so, yes, yes. Yeah. So, can you tell me how many marks pay you got this 606 score? Yeah. In 2020, it was 58.35. I got okay. this score. Though okay. it was very less, actually, mm -hmm. uh, 2 to 3 years back, if we see, 58.35 would have crossed 700 GATE okay. score. Mm -hmm. so it depends year to year. But mm -hmm. I would definitely suggest that PNI students should go for this PNI if they want to uh, take admissions. Like okay. admission is the in first IITs. thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Admission in IITs or they want to pursue higher education. Okay. So they should go for this PNI thing. It becomes easier and also you become mm -hmm. more closer to your branch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, yeah. Now, Simran, you know, uh, many students, uh, when they plan for GATE exam, they only think GATE as a competitive exam. That's it. They don't bother about their BTEC projects. They don't bother about research area. They want to go in future and all. Uh, let me ask you a question. When you apply for direct PhD kind of courses, especially in uh, competitive departments like IEOR, so uh, what, what kind of research proposal uh, you should write and how you should write and idea kahan se likha? Because I'm very sure, though I'm going to discuss this with you a little later, but I'm very sure the professors in the interview, first thing they will ask you is, uh, karna kya hai tumhe? Okay, have you decided which area you want to go? So, ye kaise identify? how you identified that, Simran? See, I already told you I was interested to this mathematics things from yes. basic mm -hmm. part only. And right. operations research was introduced to me in my late semesters, like 7th okay. and 8th semester. So, okay. I was pretty sure that I want to go in this only. 
Uh, I took optimization was a very vast field and it has mm. its application healthcare railway and mm. many many more applications so mm. i was uh, clear in my mind that i have to go for this only okay. i come from this background that's why i knew so much about it and okay. uh, other who who come from other background maybe just they see iur as a this vast and this competent okay. department that's mm-hmm. why they come here but they do not mm. have this research think clear in their mind mm. so if any other person who is not from uh, mechanical engineering or industrial mm. background they mm. should first make clear that what they want to work on or what mm. research area they think of actually and mm. what they will actually go for as i know here there are many departments like machine learning only also mm-hmm. like mm. i am not uh, good at it but many okay. computer science and electrical engineers mm. that would have passed out they have better idea on this mm-hmm. so if you have that also you just make it clear what you want to go in okay great so so similar let me rephrase my question again uh, because i'm still to get my answer and the mm-hmm. question is like do you know with w- which professors you are going to work uh, is that clear in your mind or you will decide that later actually i have shortlisted two to three professors okay and mm-hmm. definitely it depends on them also and my interaction with them since it is okay. all going to be online so i'll mm-hmm. wait for it okay so that is all about operations search so you have decided that particular domain and you will go in that right okay great so now since you are selected and you are going to uh, go and join ior is that now final uh, simran you are going to join this ior yes yes definitely okay good so since you have now decided and you are going to join it i am very sure you must have explored more opportunities and more options ke isme aur kya kya cheez hai what is the opportunity for you uh, later on uh, once you do this once you do uh, phd and you uh, explore the opportunities later on so is anything now going on in your mind other than obviously successfully completion of this course is anything else going on in your mind that this is what i will do maybe i'll go for post doctorate fellowship maybe i'll go for teaching maybe i'll go for join industries because this course is very much industry oriented course and as you said i am not very good in machine learning so you want to become strong in machine learning so abhi kya chal raha hai what is this phase going on before you join session to so abhi presently what is going on actually this is a very long duration program it's like 5 yeah. to 6 years it may extend to 6 years mm-hmm. so i am not clear what where i will go but definitely i had in mind to go for this professor thing only okay. but i am open to all the options whatever mm-hmm. comes best to me and I'll, i'll grab mm-hmm. that and moreover it is too early also to even think of that yes yes right. definitely okay now simran we come to third part of our interaction that is related to interview part right so aapko jab iur ka call aaya aur uska intro process wo please explain that also yes definitely actually in application process you have to uh, post your details about your gate score your mm-hmm. cgpa and also mm-hmm. the statement of purpose right. they don't ask the area of research that should mm-hmm. be clear they mm-hmm. asked for the statement of purpose and why you want to do phd and what mm-hmm. uh, about your academic details you should need to mention in it mm-hmm. next they uh, will send you mail if you're shortlisted so mm-hmm. they'll call for you uh, for a written test since mm-hmm. it was an online process so they sent us the written test which consisted of 10 questions mm-hmm. and 10 questions was of, of different disciplines like uh, two to three questions of queuing theory uh, the other was of transportation and linear programming and the one was from machine learning and programming languages and one was from gpu so mm-hmm. i had an idea for uh, out of seven questions out of 10 so mm-hmm. i attempted seven questions and they gave time of 4 days like mm-hmm. the written test was posted in the afternoon of 10th of may mm-hmm. and we was we had to submit on 14th may before okay. night mm-hmm. so that was the time given but the questions mm-hmm. had a very good level it was an open okay. book though but mm-hmm. then it was were very good level questions mm-hmm. uh, so they don't expect you to do the whole questions or solve it till the end and they just want to see your approach so okay. just attempt it Mm-hmm. that is the thing and also mm-hmm. i also didn't attempted all of them only seven questions of them mm-hmm. then they sent me the mail regarding the interview and uh, there was this uh, 80 students that were shortlisted after written test mm-hmm. that was there in the pdf mm-hmm. so 80 students were subjected to this interview on 19th may that was the first interview mm-hmm. and there were different panels of the professors made mm-hmm. so i was allotted to the panel of two teachers two professors and they interviewed me about uh, first my academic background my project my internships my seminar and all this and then they asked me my research interest and before they asked i definitely introduced some of the topics that i wanted to them to ask me so in my introduction itself i mentioned that so mm. they asked me some technical questions on those topics and yeah it was good 
Okay, so how long it was? As you said, into it was fifteen to twenty minutes. Fifteen to twenty minutes. So, what what do you think, uh, Simran? What do your way? What did you choose? What did you select? What do you think? Why you got selected? Yes, I was very clear about my research interest. Okay. Actually, that mm. was they asked this question twice or thrice. Two okay. professors changed the phrases and asked me the same question: What was your research interest? So they mm. wanted to know because what aligns with them. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can start. Yeah. Same. Yeah. They asked me about my research interest again and again. They wanted mm -hmm. to know what aligns with them. Mm -hmm. So that was the question that you should be clear of, actually. Okay, Research so you should be very, very, very clear what you want to do, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, Simran, now uh, since uh, you got selected, so what about other interviews you have in pipeline, or all interviews are over? Yes. So uh, after that nineteenth yeah. interview, we uh, mm -hmm. at night we were informed that we are shortlisted for the next interview. So out of those eighty students, twenty students were shortlisted. Hmm. Okay. So that was the ratio. Okay. So many many students, Simran, when I tell them that you can go and explore the opportunity, especially girl candidates and all for PhD and maybe academics is there. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing they fear is long duration. That is more than five years or four years, and how to maintain that kind of consistency uh, for so many years all together. So how how do you tackle that? I mean, five five six years you have to go for PhD. So pressure. Mm -hmm. How how to handle that? maybe parents and all sometimes they are not agreeing to that yeah that is so there but then it is a very long commitment then definitely so commitment mm. is very long but de determination and that will do actually great. and you have to be clear like if you want to do then you will do it okay great so uh, simran now anything you want to tell students because i am going to air this interaction on youtube and many students are going to obviously listen to that and Uh, uh anything you want to tell them advise them last uh, yeah yeah i think patience would be the thing that i would suggest to every student keep be okay. patient i wasn't uh, i waited for this thing direct phd course for one year mm -hmm. because of this covid thing i our results got delayed mm -hmm. so that gap may come so mm -hmm. just have patience and even if you have a decent gate score apply to this direct phd programs because definitely mm -hmm. if you want to go somewhere or uh in future you will need phd hmm. so though it is a long duration program but then after mtech you don't have to think where you have to go so you okay. save your time actually so enter into this and be determined you will be able to do it great great and once you join uh, simran and uh, after some months or maybe after a year or so i'll again interact with you just to know how your course is going on and sure. you know just a web series hota hai i am going to make web series with couple of my students so jaise ek saal do saal ab uske baad ho gaya and post doctorate fellowship is also one domain which uh, your pd is going to work on because there are many post uh, doctorate fellowships mm -hmm. available in developed countries and yes, uh, yes. they are very good i mean uh, really lucrative offers uh, for capable people uh, who have done their phds and done good work so they directly get post doctorate fellowship so we are going to start that also so uh, maybe that is also going to help many of the phd students over there when this information we start uh, discussing absolutely with them. Sir. you are doing already a great work uh, <laughs> okay. it really inspires many of us okay yes. and uh, one last thing simran once i put this video on youtube i'll send you the link and students have some queries normally and so when they have the query i'll request you to answer whatever questions uh, will be directly asked from you so that uh, their queries are handled right simran yes, let me again thank you for giving your precious time and sharing your experience with us thank, thank you. you simran thank you